السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد وثنى لله رب العالمين Dear brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, today is the 27th day of the month of Ramadan al-Mubarak, 1442 after Hijrah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless upon us and all the Muslim ummah, all the bounties and blessings. With the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're able to perform our duties responsibilities, especially the citation of Quran and fasting and so on and so forth. And today, we were able to finish the 27th juz of Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us. Inshallah, I'm going to mention some of the takeaway points, although you can have ample amount of lessons from this juz, but I'm going to uh, highlight some of the uh, takeaway points. The first point, brothers and sisters, is very important that when it comes to the nurturing and giving the tarbiyah, raising the children, we need to understand that this is one of the key duties of the parents, not only academical uh, support we have to give them or physical nurturing, we need to think about holistic nurturing of our children, psychosocial well-being, spiritual, emotional, and so on and so forth. Next point, brothers and sisters, is very important that one of the great qualities of the people of paradise, Ashabul Jannah, people of the paradise, is those who are great and good with their own family members, with their own children. Alhamdulillah. Make sure that always the fruit of patience is desirable and amazing, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises to grant that. One of the key points, brothers and sisters, is take out some of your precious time, night time, and dedicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you dedicate night time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will see that your bond and connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so strong, inshallah. One of the key points, brothers and sisters, we have to understand that doubts, suspicion, and just kind of, you know, thinking, overthinking, and so on and so forth, will going to lead to the destruction. If you don't have a complete yaqeen and ilm, don't go after doubts and suspicion. We need to have a great akhlaq, good approach, with every single person, whether Muslim, non-Muslim, believers, non-believers, everyone. But if you want to associate with, you want to have them as your friend, you want to get some peers, peer pressure and so on and so forth, spend your valuable time with those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's very important that only and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source of everything. We need to understand that. Subhanallah. End of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of everything. One of the key points, brothers and sisters, is when you're helping or giving loan to people, you're giving loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will return with some more blessings and bounties. It's very important that we need to understand if we miss something from this dunya or we miss some opportunities, don't be regretful of that and don't spend day and night tossing, turning, regretful of that. No, comes, goes. And if you were granted something good, blessings, don't be out of your control. Why? Because end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may take away that. Be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The last point, brothers and sisters, being stingy, tied hand, bukhl is one of the worst qualities and not being generous will lead to faqr and poverty in this dunya and we're going to bring 
lots of punishments from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.